Okay, good morning, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you very much for uh, having me uh, always as the keynote speakers um, for the 14 ICT out 2022 International Conference on Teaching, Education and Learning. Um, my name is Assistant Professor Dr. Patama Satapedin. I'm currently the director of the Master of Communication Arts in Digital Marketing Communications Program, uh, Bangkok University. Um, I'm actually from Bangkok, Thailand. Um, and what I'd like to share with you today, the topic is entitled Understanding Student Insight for Instructional Design, which is lead to like the, 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 um, the student experience. Uh, what I'm going to cover for my talk today, um, as you can see on the screen, uh, my agenda is going to be, uh, first of all, what are student insight um, and the importance of the student insight for the instructional design and what is like the student insight to be considered. I would uh, propose some kinds of the ideas and also the experiences from the Thai University students and by applying, uh, applying the ideas of the social UX needs or the social UX hierarchy model. And also we'll end up with the reference that I have used for my talk. Okay, so what are the student insights, first of all? Um, I would regard the students as the customers, okay? Um, the students are uh, as like the customers, they have needs. They have got like the psychological conditions or psychological needs um, to some extent in order to receive um, the benefits or the feedback from, you know, from the instructors, from the coach, but in a sense of the marketing perspective as like the customers, for sure the customer needs something from the brands, from the senders. So I would regard students as, as like, like customers that we have to understand their insight. We have to understand their behaviors. Um, we have to understand their psychological conditions behind such actions of behavior. And the main purpose or like the ultimate goals of understanding like this student inside is that experience. For sure, the university, the you know, the higher education institute would like to provide the student with a very good experience and a favorable experience to the students. And then they can give like, you know, a, a positive feedback. They can invite or encourage the other people who um, they are family with in order to continue their studies at the university and so forth. So once again, I would say that the students are like the customers. In order to make the customers, in order to make the students in place with our, univers our university uh, brands. So we have to understand their insight. I got like a quote from Leboff in 2022. Um, this person have, uh, has written um, so-called like why student insight is essential in the workshop classroom. classroom. What uh, this person's quote is, insight and the feedback it generates is essential in virtual classrooms in order for professors to tailor the learning experience, whether to address performance issues or make learning more relevant and engaging. I personally don't think that the insights or even like the feedback is essential, is important, not just only in like in virtual classroom, but even like the on-site classrooms as well, or the online classroom as well, that instructors you know, the, the teachers have to consider about these. And one more thing from this quote, 
um, I think that the insight is not just only like the feedback, but I think the insight is something that behind um, the, the the actions of the students. So in, I, I mean, I personally think that the insight could be regard, regarded as un, understood as um, the needs of the students. So when we understand the insight, the things that um, the, the teachers can generate or, or the, the, the insight can help the teachers in order to build up or you know, create like the good learning experience among the teachers, among the students, mm -hmm. and also can tell how to improve like the effectiveness or the performance of the, the, the teachers or the instructors and also uh helps the instructors and you know um the the um the 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 teachers in order to to create like the environment that can create or make the students more engaged and make their teaching um design more effective one more thing that i've i mean far from like the findings of Martin in 2019, which is um, express or share the importance and necessities of understanding the student insights. Um, Martin um, has um, addressed in, um, in the papers, in, um, in the, in the um, finding of student insight, the added values of uh, work integrated learning and he said that it's found that the student needs something that makes them entertain and achieve and help decision making for their future works. So that's why we have to understand insight. So let's have a look uh what is like, you know, the student insights to be considered. Um, I apply my um personal experience from my teaching experience. I also um follow out that um by applying of the social UX needs or the UX hierarchy model could fit well with and could understand well about the um student inside. So on the left hand side you can see in you know in the in the yellow color for UX hierarchy model there will be like six stages altogether from the bottom is the fun functional or useful, reliable, usable, and then convenient, pleasurable, and then meaningful. But however, uh, for these UX hierarchy models, the UX mean like the user experience, the ways for you know the user uh, the 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 designers in order to design um like applications or things like that in order to attract and to uh, create like a good experience among the users, or among the customers. So do the students. But for like the UX hierarchy model, it, um, in this model, it can be split or separated into like two main dimensions. At the bottom, from functional useful up to the usable, is called like the task. The tasks include like, you know, in a sense, the UX uh, sense, this include like the products, features, and target to like the objective. And it must be able to count in numbers. But in contrast, from the convenient up to the meaningful, is something relating to quality, subjective. Um, is a part involved like the experience of the users, the students people's activities, and also the context. I would like to give you the reasons why I apply, you know, the social UX hierarchies, models, hierarchy needs, because I think that it could fit well with, okay, at, some, at a certain level to the Broom's taxonomy, which I believe that all of you may familiar with um, this Broom's taxonomy because it's very, very well known, well accepted, it's very popular. And I can see like some kinds of the ideas of the task and also the experience, um, you know, Broom's taxonomies has been designed for the students. 
So for Bloom's taxonomy, there will be like six stages altogether, like the UX hierarchy model. As you can, can see in the green uh, model, so for the Bloom's taxonomy, it consists of remembers, understands, apply, analyze, evaluate, and create. For sure, uh, uh, as like the instructors and the teachers, we try to make the students understand, apart from like just remembering something, but they, uh, the students have to be able to explain, to clarify something about the ideas or the models they have learned so far. And they are able to apply in a sense, in like in the different contexts. Okay, so it means that um, the student have got like the knowledge and also some kinds of the understandings of something. And they are able to describe it. They are able to understand it up until they can uh, be able to apply such kinds of the no uh, notions, such kinds of the ideas into the practice. But after that, at the stage of analyze, evaluate, and create, it means that the students are given a chance in order to, you know, not just only to remember or understand something, but turn some kinds of the such knowledge and understandings into practice. So they got like the chance in order to analyze something, evaluate, to uh, analyze in order to see like the linkage or relationship between one thing and another. And evaluate whether it's good or bad, or satisfy or unsatisfy, and so forth, up until they are able to create something, maybe new or from the existing um things or innovations in order to create something. So in this case, um, as I mean, by applying the Broom's taxonomy. And um, that is said that, okay, the UX hierarchy models can fit well with and um, can, you know, uh, related to like the Broom's taxonomy. At the, uh, from the bottom, remember up to apply, it's something about the knowledge thing. And analyze up to the create is something about like the experience. So let's have a look in the details of like the students inside relating to um, the UX hierarchy model. So um, from the functional, useful, reliable, and use, usable is something about like, you know, the information uh, about the tests, about like the products, the information about the products and also the features. So in a sense, um, what they need, I mean, what the students need is the needs of knowledge and understanding for sure. But the instructors have to con have to bear in mind that such knowledge and understanding must be easy to digest. So it's simple, straightforward, and avoid jargons and technical terms. But sometimes from my experience in like in the real world, in a professional's world, these kinds of the jargons and technical terms is really important for students to know. But the instructors and also the, the teachers have to find out the ways in order to um to in order to um teach them, in order to coach them, to be able to remember to be a uh, be um uh to be able to understand it. And also it must be presented in like in the virtual aid, in the virtual um start. So basically about the test. Is about the, the something about the knowledge and also the understandings that the students have um, needs as like the basic ideas of studying. But in order to um provide or build up like the experiences among the students, which is about like people's activity context and more about subjective and the qualities. What they need is about like the needs of the business and people's connections for the future collaborations for their future works. This is according to you know my experience that I teach you know students for over ten years. The needs of career opportunities, the needs of the professional experience. There are some needs like the hands-on experience. They would like to do something practically, apart from just sitting um, you know in the classroom. 
needs of telemed and a personal life experience. So, you know, the different students have got like, you know, the different needs or requirements. If the teachers are, you know, are um, if the teachers and also the instructors can be able to respond to such telemed or to such personal life needs and requirements, it would be great. And also the students need something that make them entertain and um, excited. Is about like the emotional attachment and also emotional involvement because sometimes I think in the classroom, like listening to the lecture is a bit boring. So they would like to get something that make them entertain and excited. So from from these, you know, uh, um, experiences that I've shared, and also through the um the, uh applying on the social UX, you know, hierarchies, uh, models. So um, it can help that, and uh, make us consider as you know, as the teachers, as the instructors for instructional design for the experience design among the students. So once again, for the task of about you know providing like the knowledge, building up like the knowledge and also understandings among the students, what we should focus at the bottom is about like the lectures. Okay, sometimes it's like um assign the students to do some tasks, to do some duties, tutorials, or infographic, which is becomes more and more popular because um turns like you know a lot of information into some kinds of the pictures, and some kinds of the discussions could build up like understandings, the case studies as well that um the students have to apply from you know the knowledge that I've learned into something that you know practiced gamifications and competitions i personally said i mean i have put like you know case studies and gami gamifications and competitions at the tops of the the knowledge i mean the test the products or features because i i mean i personally think that the gamifications and competitions or even like the case studies are in like in in the line between you know the test and also the experience that the students would like to 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 get and it could help provide some kinds of like like you know um um the 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 um kind of you know the ideas of the hands-on experience or the kinds of the the telemates and personal life experience or the professional experience and for the experiences about the peoples about the activities about the context about um you know to create the the good experiences um uh the teachers or instructor may have to use like the seminar or like the simulations, you know, to um create like the an environment kind of you know the the virtual environment that the students can play something um like in the in the real world and then they can imagine so what's gonna happen and how they are going to do if that kinds of the situations happened. They can do some kinds of the role play and then to field trip. Okay, to meet with you know the people from the business from the industry, um, so they can explore the world, internship or even like the experiential learning through like the projects, which provide opportunities opportunity for the students to learn all of the class to learn um by doing something, um which is they might not uh face in like in the classroom. But in this case, they may fit something which is really important for their life, but also important for their studies and also important for their working experience as well. So I think that is all for um, my talk today about understanding student insight for uh, instructional uh, design and also for the um, good experience among the students. These are all like the references that I have used for my talk today. So I'm welcome for like the Q&A and thank you very much for your kind attentions. Thank you and bye-bye.